节省、节受呢，机制教育。除此之外呢，刚才我们要感谢所向无边和有素质的教育，这个呢，我们认为是党的一个重要的意志。最近党也。设立了一个三千万的一个马华的教育贷款计划，这个是不分种族的，只要你是低收入，你就可以申请。Abis soalan dulu, lepas dengar ucapan begitu panjang lebah dan perdana menteri ni, ada apa soalan? Tak ada, terima kasih. Tampil ke hadapan boleh dengar. Siapa yang dimaksudkan sebagai pembuli dalam pembimbingan? Ini soal siapa yang makan padi dia yang rasa pedas. Ah cili. Cili padi. Cili padi. Dia yang rasa pedas. Ya. Untuk mendengar saja ataupun sekolah rendah dengan mendengar tak? Tak. Saya mengatakan untuk bajet akan datang yang amat berhormat perdana menteri selaku menteri kewangan akan memberi pertimbangan yang sewajarnya untuk memberi peruntukan yang lebih kepada sekolah jenis kebangsaan rendah dan sekolah menengah jenis sekolah menengah kebangsaan kedua-dua dan untuk rendah 30 juta tak cukup lah untuk 30 juta itu khas untuk menengah dan bukan hanya permintaan untuk sekolah bahkan sebagai usaha untuk mengurangkan beban yang ditanggungkan oleh keluarga berpendapatan rendah MCA berpendapat Sampailah masa kerajaan menghulurkan bantuan kepada keluarga-keluarga yang dikatakan pendapatan kurang daripada RM3,000. Dan bantuan ini seharusnya dalam bentuk cash. Yang kedua, juga bantuan untuk membayar buku teks, uniform dan juga tambang bas sekolah. Ini kami anggap penting kerana seperti kita sedia maklum, ini adalah dikatakan impak daripada kenaikan harga-harga keperluan yang dialami bukan oleh Malaysia, bahkan untuk oleh semua negara. Dr. Sri, in your speech, you spoke about a new bill and then later PM responded on that. And are you satisfied with PM's response? No, we already said in my full speech that you can never get a new deal just by talking like that. Uh, we say that we really have to sit down and discuss how to convince the younger generation and all Malaysian that they have a stake in this country's development. That it is a government that takes care of all, inclusive, from education, employment, security, economic development, law and order, and also because of the rising cost of living. No, the One Malaysia is a good concept that all of us subscribe. Now the question is what we call pengisian, giving meaning to Satu Malaysia. We want to fill up this Satu Malaysia with meaningful policy which is inclusive. It does not mean that when we talk about the New Deal that we do not support the Satu Malaysia. The Satu Malaysia is also part of the New Deal.
anything concrete or like specifics that... Uh, the, the new deal just now in my speech in Barca was all tabulated and it's all there. Oh yes, that's the reason why I say that what the PM has done with the economic transformation program, the government transformation program, and recently the political transformation program, the government is actually providing Malaysia with a new deal. And we say that, MCA says that this new deal should have the following element. One, as I've said, should be fair, liberal, more democratic policy, be more transparent, and it takes care of everyone who is Malaysian, from education to employment to law, security, the impact of inflation, and that we want a fairer business environment where the emphasis is on meritocracy, transparency, and inclusiveness. Affirmative action should be based on needs and merits. And everybody should be assured that the economic transformation program would benefit all Malaysians, that every Malaysian will have a stake in this country. We felt that we need this because of the divisive policy pursued by Pakatan Raya. You can see today that one is talking about Hudud, and the other one, DAP, we are not very sure still. If you, if you notice, only Kapa Singh is talking. And Hudud can be a very divisive policy in a multiracial society. So I say that the Barisan National could, should be a government that can unite all races. And this is a time to show that we can unite. And not pursue policy which is very divisive. Because we are a multiracial country. So we must pursue policy that can unite all Malaysian, not a policy where one party is so insistent on pursuing, that is Hudud. And Hudud can be a divisive policy among Muslim and non-Muslim. And besides, not all Muslims support Hudud. Uh, can I ask you to comment on the uh, tickets? basically said that uh, MCA is uh, irrelevant, is fast becoming irrelevant uh, because it has not gone through uh, enough reforms since the last uh, election. You see, my response is very simple. The Onticat is irrelevant to us. <laughs> he will remain as a footnote in history of MCA. Reason is very simple. He had a chance to lead MCA for 17 months. And that was just after 308. He never did anything on reformation or transformation. All he did was to punish people, sack people, so that the only transformation and relevance they have brought to MCA is during this period, we have a lot of EGM. <laughs> Extraordinary general meeting. In the history of MCA, there were only five EGM, 62 years. But under the great and respected leader, Ong Tiket, 17 months, we have two EGM. And if you regard the one conducted by Liao Tong Lai, it will be three EGM. Agree? Yeah. yeah. Three EGM. So that's the type of transformation that Ong Tiket is talking about, maybe. But we, we are in the business of making sure that MCA reach out to all the people, so we are not in the business of conducting EGM. So maybe he's talking about because we don't do EGM, then we are losing our relevance. That's number one. And you have no faith in MCA, why are you so insistent that hook or crook you want to stand as an MCA candidate under the BN banner? If you have any integrity, you have no faith in the party, you should resign. Simple as that. Then you have your integrity. You have no relevance and yet you want to stand under the banner of BN, under the ticker of MCA. So what sort of integrity are you talking about? So that's all that I will answer on, on ticket. Because I think what I said is already too much. Any 
Hao Soal Pengagihan Kerusi MCA bersikap terbuka Dan kami berpendapat Mana-mana parti komponen Barisan Nasional yang mana peluang untuk menang kerusi itu tinggi Kita akan menyokong Tetapi bila kita buat kiraan Parti itu diagihkan kerusi tetapi kami berpendapat peluang dia nak menang tipis maka kita akan menuntut sendiri tetapi kalau kita berpendapat peluang dia menang tinggi kita akan menyokong we have done survey but survey are meant to be confidential and not shared with everybody then the survey has no meaning Yeah, yeah. No, we felt that there should be more room for dissent, more space for dissent. And what PM has done is that he has done a very remarkable thing is to remove ISA and that media do not have to renew their license every year and we felt that we should then consider more opening up more space and that include designated place for demonstration designated route and as a political party we felt that we should say it and it's up to pm because pm have to consider the national interests no, no, no. The government of today must listen to the riot. But having listened to the riot, the government of today must also decide in the national interest whether it can be done or cannot be done. I've already said I have answered enough on on tickets question. So if do you do consider yourself a winnable candidate? If you're winning? Well, I consider myself a winnable candidate everywhere I go. <laughs> yeah. There is yesterday MCA uh one staff did not uh put up resolution on uh uh being I mean uh being excluded in, in uh well, I see that it is a good thing that democracy is alive and that we have a very robust, vibrant MCA where people can have different voices. At the end of the day, it's the majority that counts. So it is a good sign that democracy is alive and flourishing in MCA. I'm not